Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm, The Love Witch, and today I'm going to talk to you all about reincarnation and answer some of your questions about reincarnation. One of the questions that I get asked is if reincarnation is real, and I can tell you from a spiritual perspective and as a medium, yes, I believe it's absolutely real. Now, it doesn't mean that all of your memories are actually from a past life that you've had. It is also possible to absorb from the collective consciousness memories of other lifetimes that other people lived. One of the things that I run across in my spiritual healing with my clients is that people carry beliefs on multiple different levels. And one of those levels is actually the past life level. That being said, I do actually see the journey a soul has been on. I can connect with many past lives that have contributed to the actual current life that a person is having right now. When we're connecting with past lives, I like to steer people away from the drama and trauma experienced in those past lives and instead lead them towards healing of those energies that they experienced in past lives because in this way they can actually bring the healing forward to the current time place. Now, if you had things that were really unhealed, really traumatic, something that really harmed your soul and scarred you all the way through because it was so painful, you may actually come into the next lifetime with the soul wound from a previous lifetime. This is where we get carryover problems. This could show up with health problems. This could show up with many different forms of allergies. Allergies are really often created in past lives from different traumas that we experienced or depending on how we died in a past life, a lot of times that will be a carry over energy that impacts our health and well-being in our current life. So there is always a little bit of crossover from what your soul has previously experienced into what it is currently experiencing. So without getting confused with all of the dramas and people from all of your past lives and kind of going down the rabbit hole into who you used to be, it's really important to focus right here and right now with who you currently are. With any energies that have been unhealed from previous existences, they will actually appear in this current life. So the more you can actually stay focused on this life, this is where you can do the greatest amount of healing for all lifetimes, including all previous lifetimes. So in that way, it doesn't matter if a trauma was created in a previous life and carried forward, or if it was organically created in this life, you can still heal it in the here and now. You can still heal all your wounds in your current lifetime right now. And I love that about dealing with past life issues and healing traumas from previous lifetimes. One of the other questions that I get asked a lot about reincarnation is if our souls always come back together with the same collective group. And I would call that your soul family. Your soul family can be quite large. It is not necessarily just the people you were raised with in your own home. It could be your extended family. It could be parts of your community. It could include mentors that you've had. It could include very close friends, lovers, spouses. It could include your best friend. Every time you're born, you come into familiar souls. This is your soul family. And the reason you do this is to really learn and advance from one another. If you were always coming in with a fresh group, you wouldn't actually be able to experience the soul's journey where one can actually learn their soul lessons, heal their karma, and do their forgiveness and release work. We get the greatest amount of soul growth through incarnating and reincarnating with our soul family. These are individuals that really impact us really deeply through the cells of our body, through every fiber of our being, through everything we have ever been in all lifetimes. These souls trigger us they, they make us very emotional. They bring out the best and sometimes the worst in us, but they do this because they're helping us to evolve. If a stranger walked up to you and said something, it wouldn't even trigger you, but somebody that you love and care for deeply, when they say the same thing, it can really go right to the heart and it can really hurt you. This would be indicative of a soul family. This would be somebody that you have a karmic type of relationship with. Now in a karmic relationship, that means that you have had previous lifetimes together. That means there has been carryover where you've had the opportunity to balance the situation in multiple lifetimes. This gives your soul the opportunity to play both sides of the same coin. For instance, if you were an abuser in a past lifetime, 
Perhaps you're a victim in this lifetime. And the whole point of having this experience is to come into your own power and your own balance where you're neither the abuser nor the victim. Many people hope and pray that their loved ones who pass will be reincarnated and come back to them right away to re-experience life with them here and now in this lifetime. And that can happen, although it's less likely to happen. Most people, when they die, they will go into the spirit world where they await you to see you on the other side when you're done living. There'll be a wonderful reunion of souls at that time before deciding if you're going to be coming back together in the next lifetime. This is where contracts are made and agreements are made and where your soul's journey continues together. And it may not be together. You may say to each other, wow, you've taught me everything I needed to learn and I appreciate you so much. We're gonna come in next time in two separate soul families. You may decide to reunite in three or four different lifetimes from now. So you wouldn't actually be with your same soul family in every single lifetime. But there would be a lot of crossover where you have experienced some past lifetimes with your current soul family. Most often, the people in your soul family will wait for you in the spirit world and reunite with you when you eventually pass before deciding to come back into the earth plane again to relive another physical experience. However, it is possible for a soul to come back sooner. It's something I've been seeing more often where souls are not waiting for you to die and go to heaven to be reunited where they are coming back more quickly. Typically, it would be that they would wait for their entire soul family to pass before choosing to come back in. But I have seen souls recycle faster where they're coming back in because they have a specific role to play in our current time space. Perhaps it's political, perhaps it's because they wanna be here during certain historical events, or perhaps they just really want to re-experience the same souls in this particular setup of life where they can continue to grow and expand in this lifetime. It is also really important to know this. When your loved one dies and goes to heaven, they're a spiritual energy, which means they're not contained in a form. They do not have mass or physicality to them. So once they're spiritual energy, they can be in all places all at once. They can be with all their loved ones all at the same time. And they can reincarnate because they can be in all places at once. They can both be in heaven and be at the same time reincarnated into a new child, a new baby in the family so that they can re-experience the same soul group again. Let's say your grandfather passed and you feel him around you and you go to a medium and you're able to connect with him and communicate with him, that your grandfather can also at the same time come into another child in the family. So he can actually be reincarnated into the new baby in the family and at the same time remain in heaven while visiting you from the spirit world. It's quite extraordinary and not a lot of people talk about this. It's more challenging to wrap your mind around that, but I have witnessed this happen. I know this occurs. And it's quite extraordinary when you understand that the souls in heaven are limitless. They can be at all places at once. And that's one of the most wonderful things about advancing in the spirit world, going into the light, going into heaven, doing your healing, and then being able to be in all places all at once. Many times as a healer, I get clients that come to me that tell me they have issues with this certain group of people or issues going to these locations or they don't like a certain color, or they don't eat a certain food, or they're traumatized by different sounds because they have either been told by a different psychic that they died in a tragic way around those circumstances, or perhaps they have cellular memory and they just avoid those things naturally because of carryover memories. These fears are not meant to impede your progress in this life. These fears are meant to be healed in the here and now. So when people tell me, Oh, I've been hung for being a witch. I've been burned at the stake. I've had all these different traumatic deaths. Okay, let's heal it now. That may be one of the reasons why you came back in the now time space because we can actually heal all lifetimes. In a healing session with me, I can actually tap into all of those different lifetimes and remove the trauma that you experienced from any previous existence to bring you more fully into your present life in a more harmonious way, where you're not carrying forward a lot of traumas from the past or a lot of fears from the past. Whenever we experience a death from a previous existence or a traumatic event that reminds us of something we lived through before, it is not meant to stay in our system as fear. It is not meant to stay in our system as a current day trauma. It is meant to be healed. 
So if these things bubble up for you, it is because your soul wants to release them. It wants to heal these energies so that you can come more into alignment, be more in the present moment, and be more in your power. This will help your soul evolve and eventually ascend. Find that harmony and balance where your soul has experienced pain and suffering. I love it that we can heal all past lifetimes in this lifetime right now. Another question I get is if you recognize your soul family or karmic soulmates or any other type of soulmate. Soulmates are people that we have had connections with and relationships with in previous lifetimes. And we definitely recognize soulmates. We recognize them by their energy, by their voice, by their touch and many times by their eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. And when you're looking in someone's eyes and you feel inexplicably drawn to them and you want to lean into them and talk to them and connect with them, this is a really strong indication that you most likely had a past life together. You may have had many past lives together. If there's any energy that is left unhealed between the two souls, you can actually call that forward and heal it now. You can come into harmony and balance with that soulmate in the present lifetime and complete anything that was undone from previous lifetimes. When you have a past life memory that connects you deeply with a soulmate, you're likely to feel it very, very deep in the cells of your body. You may even have emotional reactions. You may not understand why you feel a certain way around somebody, or you may even cry and not know where these deep emotions are coming from. If this happens, I would invite you to just close your eyes and tune in with that and allow your body to process it and release it. It's good not to stay stuck in that energy, but if you actually experience the emotion and allow yourself to feel it, you'll be able to feel it and release it here and now, and that will actually extract it and release it from the previous lifetime so that emotions are not tying you to other places in time. Again, you're bringing all your energy back to the present moment where you have the fullest potential to have absolute healing. You will definitely recognize your soulmates because there will be such an ease and familiarity in the relationship. You'll often feel very, very safe with that person. It'll be really easy to communicate with them and you may long for their touch. Their touch will feel really familiar to you and it'll feel different than other people. Even if they just touch your hand, you may feel their energy go through your whole body. You may feel your heart open to them. You may feel your energy is much more available for connecting with them emotionally, intellectually, and that you'll have a lot of things in common. Your journeys may actually mirror each other in this lifetime. And many souls travel through time to find each other again and again and again. And when this happens, there's no greater fulfillment than coming together again. In the reincarnation cycle, most of our memories are wiped because we don't want to re-enter into a new infant body with all of our previous history and earthly drama intact. However, there are a few molecules in the human being that are with us in every lifetime. And in one of those molecules, contains all memory from all lifetimes. So sometimes that energy seeps out. Sometimes that energy feeds us in the current time space that we're living in to keep us aware or connect us to other places in time. So while in your brain, you may not remember any of your past lifetimes, your one eternal molecule will contain the memory of all the lifetimes you've ever had. And because of that, you can recall them upon will, usually through meditation or through prayer, something that really helps to relax you and prevent you from thinking and projecting and allowing you just to feel into it or receive visions of it or connect with it energetically. Each and every one of you are a journey of your soul. You are all the things you have ever been and your soul has been evolving from one life to the next. Every single time we get to come down to earth to play, we do experience love, we experience heartache, we experience wins and we experience losses. But every time our soul learns new virtues, it matures emotionally, it evolves, and that moves humanity forward. It is such a benefit. Reincarnation is a gift for humanity because every time you come down and live other lifetimes, you're helping to shift and push forward all of humanity, moving it in the right direction, and really being able to implement new policy, new politics, 
spreading more love and awareness on the earth. No matter what your personal experience is, every time you come here, it's out of love for all the other humans. You really are selecting and choosing to come back. You're never forced to come back. And so the very fact that you're here says to me that you do care and that other people here on earth matter to you and that you do love your fellow man and that you do want to serve a purpose. Living a good life in the present moment is all about getting clear and getting healed. If you have triggers, if you have traumas, if you have wounds that you have not healed, be sure that you set up a private session to release this energy and allow yourself to live at a higher vibration. Allow yourself to evolve even faster so that you can progress into a higher state and experience a better and better life every time you're here. If you're interested in doing some inner healing and releasing traumas and wounds and baggage from previous lifetimes so that you can live the happiest lifetime right now, make sure that you check out my private sessions at www.dianapalm.com. I also like to tell people not to use your past lifetimes as an excuse for being prejudiced against somebody that harmed you in a past life or for avoiding certain parts of the world or for avoiding water or anything else that you still carry trauma about. Again, we are here to heal it. You're on earth again to heal it, not to live a half-life not to avoid all the things that your soul has experienced as negative experience from previous lifetimes. When I hear people say, oh, I don't boat because my boat went down, I was on the Titanic and I drowned and I never boat since then, that can cripple you from living a full expression of your life right here and right now in this lifetime. So it is your job to find those triggers and those fears and heal them. It's time to release them. It's time for you to live an expanded, purposeful, joyful life. And it's time for you to really embrace your eternal soul and to really nurture yourself, love yourself, and value your journey. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to see you in the next video.